Hey folks, Brian Van Dyke here, fire suppression product expert at Pierce. Uh, today we're going to discuss Husky 3 foam systems, um, our baseline direct injection foam system that Pierce offers. Um, some of the main benefits of the Husky 3 foam system, um, it has an operating um, flow permitted of 3 gallons per minute. It will run both Class A, Class B foam systems. You have injection percentage anywhere from 0.1% all the way up to 3% in adjustment. Um, it also is an electric over hydraulic foam system, so it has an amp draw of 55 amps. Um, when we get further along in here, you can actually pull foam or um, refill the foam system, or foam cell, I should say, on the truck, uh, without the truck actually running. Um, that's one of the huge benefits of the Husky 3. Without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into the control head here. So, one of the things you'll see with the Husky 3 foam system is that it actually has a very small footprint from as far as the size of the control head. Uh, your adjustments are going to be some great buttons here as far as your foam percentages. You adjust them up and down, pretty straightforward. Uh, your green button is going to be your system on off. Your yellow button on here is going to be your prime button. And then you also have an LED status indicator system with a placard here that actually shows you as far as what the system status is when it's operating. Uh, when you're actually using the foam system from as far as from your tank on the truck, as you can see we actually have a pickup hose set up on this truck, but 99% of the time you're going to be running it from off the tank on the truck. So the three-way selector valve in the corner of the pump panel here is actually in the down position, which is actually for the tank portion or the cell portion on the truck. Now if you're going to be running it out of the bucket, which we have set up today here, so you can actually use either one, you would end up taking the lever and flipping it all the way up, which there's a little label on here as well to indicate as far as what that functionality is. Now as far as when you do operate or do use that refill portion of it, in addition to the three-way valve that you have on the outside, there's an access door next to it. Through that access door, there's actually another three-way valve inside of there. And that's what you'll end up actually using as far as when you're switching from your source from your onboard tank or to your offboard source as far as a five gallon pail and other source of foam. Um, let's go through as far as operation, as far as how easy it is to refill a unit from the ground. So you let your foam system, you end up turning your foam system. When you turn the truck on, it'll come online to the last percentage you had set. Hook up your foam pickup wand, stick it in your bucket, take your selector valve and move it from tank to draft, open up your access door, and there's also a sticker inside of the door that also tells you that as well as far as what position. You'll end up taking the handle, flipping it upward, then you'll end up coming over to the control head, and you'll actually end up scrolling up or down with the gray buttons until you hit the FIL on the screen. Now as soon as you hit the on, the system will kick on and it'll start refilling the system. When you're done filling the system, just press the off button. Now the nice thing with the Husky 3 as well as our Husky 12 foam systems is that it is set up from the aspect as far as an overflow uh, sensor or float switch being in the dome. So let's say if you're here, you're filling it up, you're talking with some folks in the department and you forget that you're refilling it and you're worried about foam overflowing. There's actually inside the tank or dome, there's actually an overflow sensor there that stops the system or it actually shut the foam fill off when you're refilling it in case that it does happen. Um, as far as disconnect, you just do everything back in reverse operation. When you're done refilling it, make sure that your selector valve is flipped into the side to the tank operation. Close your door, push it down to the tank side, make your disconnection on your foam supply, and then go back and then preset your foam percentage as far as where you had it before. Uh, that covers basically your main highlights from the Husky 3 foam system. And if you have any questions, please reach out to your, uh, your, your peer sales representative and we'll take care of you.